Go east, yeah, towards Denver. The videos tell Go just some Denver. of the story. Evacuate now. Boulder County Sheriff's deputies worked to evacuate so many east, people go. the day the Marshall Fire took so much. Ma'am, you have to evacuate. Just kind of did what we could do every minute to, to make it through the day. The mindset of those behind these body camera videos was focused. First uh, stable I came to, we couldn't get through the gate. Uh, I used my patrol vehicle to push the gate open. Deputy Peter Markison evacuated these horses from a barn. Uh, which was also right next to the fire. Uh, it was probably only a few feet behind us at that point. They got them out and into horse trailers later. So for me, it's uh, get through that minute, that 30 seconds, that whatever it is to get through that one task and assign yourself the next task. Yeah, I'm terrified and I was terrified that whole day. Um, but this is my job to do, I gotta do it. I'm trained for it. And I was driving through very thick, dense smoke with flames on both sides of my vehicle and I saw movement up in the distance. Deputy Elizabeth Cantwell Ray spotted these dogs close to 76 and Marshall Road. I knew that it was in distress based off the look on its face and I knew that they needed to be rescued. But these videos don't show the entirety of what they did that day. So I pulled out a roll of yellow tape from my patrol vehicle, carried it with me, and went up to every single door within that polygon that I was evacuating. Visibility got worse with every door that I went to. And then there are those we don't see. I was exhausted. Uh, I think everybody on my ship was exhausted. Robert Schimler works dispatch for the sheriff's office. I feel horrible that it's happening. I do the best I can to get the right people somewhere near them to give them a hand to get them out of there. No time for fear, just focus and help. You have to, I think, in this profession, Where's the cat? deal with what's happening, take a moment to think about it, and then move on and take care of the next, you know? That dispatcher that you heard from just now, Robert, said that uh, on a normal busy day, they can answer between uh, anywhere between 150 and 200 calls. But Jenny, on the day of the Marshall Fire, he said that they had two dispatchers on their shift that answered possibly up to 400 calls. They, of course, brought in more people to come in and work to handle all that demand that day. Very busy and emotional day for them all. Luis, thank you for your reporting.